hello friends so far we have modeled our structure and so this is the model of the structure this structure over here okay we have done that now the next thing that we have to do and we have done this thing in our previous chapters as well in 2d frame or a 3d frame that we have to assign the properties So what we gonna do now is so go to start pro and after that the next thing that we do is so the basic concept is same for every structure okay be it a building be it a simple structure or be it a very complex structure what we do we go to general because we are done with the geometry menu we go to the general tab and from here what we do we go to the property that we are already in and now we define the beams and we also define the columns so go to define here and after that go to rectangle uh, let us first define the columns so you know that you have seen the preliminary design of the columns beams and the slabs uh, from there we got some size of the beams and the columns you can use that size you can do your own preliminary design it doesn't matter so here what I'm gonna do is that I'll go with the architect and I'll just take the size that the architect has taken so only in case you use this thing okay because uh, over here you can see that uh, this beam size is very important it might not be in a residential building but in important structures like shopping complex and especially hotels uh, this beam size and the column size they are very important so, uh, they will define the size of the ceiling so there will be a false ceiling here and they will define it and they will also define the size of the room that is why you must consult with the architect whether to change so just in case you need to change the size of the columns or the beams so you must consult with him or her and take the sizes or change the sizes so here I will go to with the architect and uh, we know that column size uh, that the architect has taken is one feet by one feet and we'll take this column size in our structure as well let us go to start pro one so yd is one feet and similarly zd is also one feet so we'll place one feet here as well and uh, the material will select the concrete and click on add so, so we have added the column here and you have to remember that so 12 by 12 that, that is 12 inches so it is showing the result here in the inches 12 inches make one feet so now we'll add the beams as well uh, let us see the size of the beam the size of the beam uh, from here you can see the width and the width of the beam is so I'll use the measure tool here okay and the width here is it's nine inches so, so uh, what we're gonna do we will convert that inch into feet so nine divided by 12 if we do we'll get the result in feet so it is 0 0.75 feet so yd that is the depth so zd is 0 0.75 feet and yd that is the depth so uh, we'll use the section so we'll see the section of this diagram uh, to get the depth of the beam and the depth of the beam is okay from here to here it's one feet and two inches so uh, you must measure other uh, you know dimensions as well if they vary okay where should I snap it here it's one feet and three inches almost similar so that won't matter much okay so one feet and two inches let us convert it into one plus 2 divided by 12 and the answer is 1.16 so let's go to start pro and give the yd as 1.16 feet and click on add now we'll close it now after uh, defining the beams and the columns we have to assign them to our structure so let us first select the beams here and after that go to select and after that from here go to beams parallel to so the beams are parallel to x axis again go to select go to beams parallel to 
and click on Z axis. So I have selected all the beams. Now what we will do, we will click on assign to the selected beams must be selected here and click on assign. And after that click on yes. So R1 has been assigned. Now click somewhere here. After that select the column. Go to select and go to beams parallel to and go to y axis click on assign to the selected beams and click on assign after that click on yes now next thing that we are going to do is the define the specifications as i have told you in the previous videos you can make specifications for the beams and the columns you need to uh, do the offset but uh, you can do that offset uh, after you know you get the reinforcement values and just in case you want to economize your section more in that case you can uh, you know do those offset things and initially you won't need to do that we will not do the offset thing right now the one thing that we are going to do is and uh, let me tell you a little bit uh, about that okay so you must have heard the concept of uh, you see cracked sections right cracked sections so what are these so what does this mean suppose that we got a beam here and we have loaded the beam and so this is our RCC beam and we have loaded it okay and the supports and we pro provide the load here so uh, while when we increase the load it will bend like this right so it's gonna bend like this so due to this bending and once you know the strength of this concrete becomes less than the load that we have applied in that case what happens is that uh, we know that this portion so this lower portion that is below the neutral axis is not very good at taking the tension force so what happens is that these this portion generates cracks like this so these cracks are not uh, you know this much visible cracks okay so they are micro cracks and they are not easily visible with the naked eyes so uh, so this portion of the beam generates this kind of these kind of cracks and now this section is called as the cracked section so cracked section so due to you know the generation of these cracks the strength of strength of this structure what it will happen it will decrease or the structure that was strong here will not be that much strong here so due to this reason what we have to tell start pro that we have to tell the start pro to decrease the strength of the concrete and we'll do that and I'll show you how we do that and let me uh, tell you a bit more uh, in this and and once the uh, you know these sections uh, get cracked and uh, the concrete loses you know its strength to take the tension that tension force is you know given to the reverse okay so the reverse that are placed here at the bottom and uh, the reverse are also placed at the top but i am only talking about the reverse at the bottom and the reverse take the tension force very much easily so this is how it happens okay so now let us go to start pro and let us uh, tell uh, start pro to use the cracked section so what we're gonna do click on beam and from here we will use the property reduction factors and reduction factors so reduction factor uh, for cross section area rax so there won't be any change in the cross section so it will be one uh, which means that the initial cross section will be multiplied with one and so whatever is multiplied with one is the same value that is why the same section will be retained so reduction for the torsion constant so for the torsion movement of inertia in the y direction and movement of inertia in the z direction for columns uh, this factor is 0 0.7 and you can find this in various uh, american codes as well as the indian codes okay so we'll use the 0 0.7 factor and same for the movement of inertia 0.7 and click on add and again we'll define for the beams so go to property reduction factors and for beams the factor is 0 0.35 so if you don't want to consider 
this reduction factors you can do that but if you consider these things your structure will be much closer to the reality because this is what happens when the structure is loaded so after that click on add here now what we're going to do we'll apply these things to the columns so we have to select the columns first for that we'll again go to select and go to beams parallel to and the columns are parallel to y-axis so after that click on assign to the selected beams and click on assign and click on yes the property has been assigned after that select the reduction rix and go to select and go to beams parallel to click on okay so first unselect this okay go to select again go to beams parallel to click on x and again go to select beams parallel to z now assign the property click on assign here and click on yes we have defined two specifications